All right, meteorologist Kate Bilo joins us now. Does it stop raining ever? Oh, my. What no. is this? No, this, this is like coming. the soggiest September oh. we've ever had, no it feels like. And, you know, I feel like just last year it was like the sunniest September. We yeah, had just this stretch like super of nice. sunny. Yes. Mm -hmm. so Not this that. time nope, around. Nope, yeah, we've nope, got nope. more rain on the way. But here's the good news. We're going to pay for it to start the work week, but this coming weekend looks beautiful. Okay. okay. So it's a little bit of a trade-off. Okay. You know, I will trade a nice weekend for a few rainy work days any day of the week, but we've got more rain headed our way tonight and tomorrow and again on Wednesday. So let's get right into it. We'll start you off with a look outside. One spot that hasn't seen much rain today is the Lehigh Valley. Actually had a few breaks of sunshine a little earlier. You can see up in Bethlehem, the clouds have taken over now as showers just start to slowly nudge to the north. I'll tell you, I'll show you coming up in our next half hour, our Pocono camera. It's looking sunny and beautiful outside, but down the shore, it's wet. So it all depends on where you are. It's like real estate, location, location, location. And the location where you didn't want to be yesterday and again today was off to the south with the heaviest downpours across portions of South Jersey and Delaware. Of course, it was a nasty Sunday in Philadelphia as well. 66 degrees is the current temp here. 64 in Millville, 65 if you're in Atlantic City. It's a little warmer in Allentown where they've had a few more breaks of sun today. 69 degrees the current temp there, but you can see the winds are out of the east and they're strong. I don't know if you heard when Joe was outside earlier in his story, you could hear the wind on his microphone. The wind is pretty gusty out there. Winds are coming in out of the east direction. Sustained winds at about 15 miles an hour in Philly, 14 miles an hour in Millville, 16 miles an hour in Atlantic City, and winds are gusting up to about 20 miles an hour this afternoon. So it's breezy, it's chilly, and all that east wind, of course, pushes the ocean water right toward the shore point. So our now our coastal flood advisory has actually been extended. And more counties have been included, including right around the mouth of the Delaware River, around Philadelphia, Wilmington, all of South Jersey, and all of the Delaware coastline until 2 p.m. tomorrow. Next two high tide cycles will produce minor flooding tonight and again tomorrow morning. A few road closures are possible as that water just continues to surge inland. And then we're going to start to see a wind switch as we get into Wednesday. But first, we've got to watch this area of rain, this big mass of moisture coming in from the west. It's going to overspread the area tonight. You can see right now just a few scattered showers off to the south, but it's going to get wet before it dries out again later in the week. Showers down across Delaware and South Jersey. But here's what to expect tonight. Overnight, we've got some steady downpours coming through and it's going to be a wet start to your Tuesday morning. Heaviest is north and west, but it's going to be raining from the city on south as well. On and off through the day again, heaviest to the north and west. It starts to slowly wind down a bit by one o'clock, but some rumbles of thunder possible as well. Scattered showers at any time throughout the day. Wednesday will be a little warmer, a little more humid. A few showers around winds out of the southwest, so you won't have the east wind issues. But we do have to watch this cold front that'll come through Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night and bring the threat for a few locally strong or severe thunderstorms. We're already in a slight risk for severe weather in Philadelphia and all surrounding suburbs on Wednesday. So that is something we'll be watching closely as we move through the next two days. Periods of rain overnight, breezy at times. 62 is the overnight low. Tomorrow's a warmer day. Rain and thunder, heaviest north and west, but scattered showers elsewhere and certainly warmer than today with winds out of the south. We'll get up to 78 for the daytime high. Wednesday's warm and steamy, but watch for those strong thunderstorms in the afternoon and at night. It's cooler and comfy Thursday, still with a decent amount of cloud cover. We'll start Friday with a shower, but then then we got the good stuff. Look but at the then. weekend. <laughs> 75 Saturday, 79 on Sunday. Mm. A little warmer than average, lots of sun. Last weekend of September shaping up pretty nice. Really September nice. wants us to remember it on really a nice. Note. Yeah. Thanks. Bring it. Sure. Thank you, Kate. What's